Hello there Capricorn. Well, it's your time for your monthly career and finance reading. And this is for April 2023. So what's the first thing? What do you need to know about your career or your business here? We have all the lovers. It might be a choice here. Decision to be made here. Gemini energy. And we have the higher event. Maybe the commitment here. This could also be an institution. This could be a higher um, education, higher learning here. Okay. Why am I so crooked? <laughs> okay. There we go. Ooh. Okay. This looks like, I don't know. Are you getting married? <laughs> you getting married at work? Wow. This is like, all looks like, you know, a marriage or a wedding or getting together here. Okay. So let's see. So we have here the lovers. The lovers is the choice card. So it's um, a common goal. Um, facing a decision. A beneficial partnership. Then we have the Hierophant. Which would mean that we're... Our values, our integrity. Financial advisors. Vocational training. And then we have the Four of Wands. Four of Wands, if I can speak, Four of Wands, this is deal partnerships. Committed to a goal. It's like you're on the same page with someone. It looks like you might be meeting someone that either you're a great team, great partnership. Could also be love here. I mean, we're supposed to be doing career and finance. We also have the Justice card. How nice is that? This could be contracts, legal matters, weighing factors. So, yeah, so you might be signing business papers, going into business with someone. Okay, and we have Gemini, we have Taurus energy, and we have Libra energy. Okay, let's clarify the lovers. Why is the lovers here? Ooh, we have the Magician too. Wow. And for me, the, the Magician Aries and Aquarius energy. This means you can manifest a partnership or could be in, the, in your love life, could be in your business, could be both. But definitely something good coming in for you. And what about the Hierophant? Why is the Hierophant here? You might be moving away from something to go to something that's that's better. I mean, with the Six of Swords, I love this card because this is stress reduction. This is change of position. This could also be a vacation or a holiday. Might be taking a little breather. But whatever it is, you're moving away from rough times to something much better. And you have manifested it. Wow. And we have the devil. Here's yours. And I'm not going to take this as meaning anybody. Um, I think of this as your energy. That you're in a commitment here. You're doing well. Um, you're very focused or maybe too focused. Maybe you're um, overworked a little bit and that's why you need this vacation. That's why this is like saying you're overworked so you need to take a time off. Um, time out. Move away. You know. Also, there's commitment here. Strong commitment. Someone might also be with the devil card here being, you know, obsessed about having this commitment with you. Look at this. Eight of Wands. Wow. Okay, so with the Eight of Wands, this is good news, business travel, speedy communication. Things are taking off. It's looking good for you. Okay, so now what can you do to move forward? Let's see what you can do to move forward. Okay, this is Speak Your Truth, cut out what does not belong here. Ooh, then we have the Temperance card. Oops, and I'm, I'm getting so excited for you. I'm knocking everybody all over the place here. Okay, let me put my fetter back there. I want my fetter. <laughs> okay, so there we go. And this is moving away from something. Now, you know what? Maybe you're looking to have more balance. More. Um, this is cutting out whatever does not belong. You know, something that maybe you're not happy with something. Getting to the truth. And the temperance card is really beautiful because... Sagittarius energy, cooperation, patience is the key, a relaxed atmosphere. It feels like you're moving away from anything that was not serving you into a much better area. And this could be you branching out here. Um, this is bigger and better and moving upward, onward. Yeah, things are happening for you. And look at this. You might be moving away from this pain. Someone caused some kind of heartache here. So with the Three of Swords, this could be a termination, unpleasant outcome. And this could be, you know, you're licking your wounds here and that you're moving on. You're saying, you know what? I don't need this. I'm out of here. Okay, so let's see. Why do we have the Ace of Swords here? Why is the Ace of Swords here? Three of Wands. Okay. 
So something's coming in for you. This is payoff, rewards, on the horizon. The truth is coming out and something's coming in. Okay, what about the temperance card? Why is the temperance here? Yeah, definitely felt like an energy of resting. This is from the Three of Swords. You're healing. You're resting. You're recovering. Um, you know, it just needs to take a time out. It could be, you know, you have to heal. And it could be, I really do feel like some of you are going on vacation or a holiday. What about this um, Eight of Cups? Ooh, the sun is, wherever you're going, you're going to be very happy. It's going to be nice and sunny, warm and sunny, clear. You're going to be, I can see clearly now. <laughs> so that's what it is. It's seeing clearly. It's happy at work. It's growth. Growth mindset. And here, someone might be holding on to you. Now, with the Four of Pentacles. This is, could be someone who feels a little complacent, maybe. This could be a fear of change. But it also could be someone's trying to hold on to you, or you're trying to hold on, or maybe someone's holding back. Maybe you're not telling people what your plans are, which is, I always think is a good thing. Okay, how can you be more financially successful? Let's see, how can you be more financially successful? Queen of Cups. Nine of Swords. And the Strength card. Okay, and we have the Two of Pentacles. Okay, the Queen of Cups. I like the Queen of Cups. This is... This is content in life. This is doing what you love. Not doing what you have to do, but doing what you love. If you do what you love, the money will come. Things will pay off for you. So, um, that's always important. Let's get a charm on this Queen of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. We have, oh, we have a little cat here. Independence, balance, psychic. Of course, the Queen of Cups is very intuitive, too. Very loving, very caring. Let's get the Queen of Cups. Okay, but someone's stressing out over here. This is insomnia, not being able to sleep. Um, this is victim mentality, clouded judgment. But you do have the strength card, which is like, makes, you know, this usually a lot of times this is in our head when we get the nine or the eight of swords. It's like, we're thinking too much and we're stressing ourselves out which is not necessary so now we have the strength card here leo energy this is a strong leader flex your skills own your power take your power back okay and we have juggling here maybe you know with something like this you have you might have to make a decision with two of pentacles multitasking adaptability uh, maybe the a fluctuation of money going in and out okay let's see what about this queen of cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Okay, victory. You're getting recognized for your work. So, you know, I'm saying do what you love and the money will come. And then you're going to get, you know, people are realizing that you're good at what you do here. The Six of Wands is um, you're at the finish line. You're getting recognized for your talents. People are admiring you. They're cheering you on. Okay, what about this Ten of Swords? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Ooh, the Hierophant. Very strong Taurus, huh? Okay, commitment. Maybe it's, you're afraid of commitment. But, you know, I think you're okay. You're, you're doing all right here. This also could be learning something. I mean, also, uh, with the Hierophant, this, you know, this is the vocational training. Maybe you're you're training here. You're going into some kind of training. But this is values, integrity, faith. Financial advisors this could be too. Okay. And why do we have the strength card here? Ooh. I don't know, Capricorn. You're in the money, honey. So, I would say the strength card here, keep doing what you're doing. Don't give up. The money's coming. If you don't see it yet, it is coming. So this could also represent retirement. You could be purchasing a, a big ticket item like a home or a car or um, long-term investments. Commitment. You got a lot of commitment. I speak. See, I have a hard time with that word. <laughs> no, okay. No, let's see. <laughs> you have a lot of cards that say commitment here. Okay, we have the emperor. Being in your power. Okay, um... Plan of action, masculine authority, financial responsibilities here. You know, taking taking charge. 
Maybe you are a leader. I mean, we didn't have the strength card. This says that you can flex your skill. You can be in a leadership role. Okay. But you could be dealing with Aries, too. Let's see. Where or what do you need to improve? Oh, new beginning. Taking a leap of faith. A risk taker. Blind faith. This will say adventure awaits. Be willing to take the, a chance here or take a shot at something. Aries Aquarius energy. Also here at the Two of Wands. You know, it's a fusion of ideas. It's um being on the same page. It's a business partnership. It's a very strong partnership coming over here. And we have Ace of Wands. I love it. Okay. So this is new ideas, uh, pursuing your dreams, spark of inspiration, you know, something growing here. It's an opportunity to make something. Oh, my God, we got the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. okay, the money's coming here. I see lots of money for you. I see money in your future. <laughs> okay, let's see. What about the Fool card? Why is the Fool card here? Ooh, something, some new beginnings can come in here quickly here, or you might decide to jump on something really quickly. It's a go for it. Business trips driven to seed. Whatever it is, it's like, yeah, you got the power behind you. Cancer energy. What about the two of wands? Why is the two of wands here? Oh my gosh. I mean, there's money, there's commitment, there's oh, partnership. This is like really golden opportunity here. When this comes up, this is a secure offer. This is being in the right place at the right time. Look at these aces next to each other. Holy moly. Okay, what about this ace of wands? Okay, being patient. There might be, you know, a temporary delay here. Um, but you're going to get a different perception because of it. Something might be hanging in the balance too. But, you know, don't worry about it. It looks good. Oh my God, we got the lovers. Holy moly, got the lovers again. Gemini energy, partnership, choice. I'm loving this reading for you guys. Okay, now, what or whom is an obstacle you need to overcome? We have the Six of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Two of Cups. You know, definitely there's a strong partnership energy here, whether it's in love, business, or maybe both. You might be partnering up with someone that you can work good, well together, whether it's business, love, I like the Six of Pentacles. This is also saying that, you know, if you put out there for a loan, you will be approved for the loan. This is a helping hand. This is bonus. This is raises. This is, you know, things balancing out. So if it, if it was an obstacle in the past, it's not now. Go deep. Go, go, um, go within here. This is also maybe that you have to find something here. You're looking for something. Some kind of answer within yourself. So, um... This is self-contained, doing research, time management. But there's definitely a partnership coming in here. This is work balance, union of assets, beneficial connection here. And we have this coming, oh, offers coming in here. Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So someone is going to make an offer. It could be, um, you definitely work com communication. This also could be someone either your apprentice or an internship or maybe this is someone that or maybe you need to hire and hire um give someone an internship or a, have them as apprentice okay let's see why is the six of pentacles here okay someone has a lot of regret a lot of remorse may they didn't treat you fairly in the past this could be a job maybe you left a job and saying now they realize they should have gave you more money because there was a uneven balance and now we have the five of cups here so things are coming into balance what about the hermit or also maybe someone had to let you go maybe a downside of termination here we have the oh we have the king of wands you know, it's kind of interesting how we didn't have that many court cards come out. This is all about you, baby. All about you and your money. And this partnership. Now, look, here we have this King of Wands has a, a arrow here, but it has a heart. So this King of Wands could be someone that's interested in you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. A lot of passion, a lot of desire. The King of Wands is um, a mentor, experience, 
motivational, very charming, very good looking. Okay, let's see. And what about the Two of Cups? Why is the Two of Cups here? Woo! Someone's worried about this partnership. Okay, so business love, someone might be worried that this is coming in. You know what? This could also be if you are partnering up with someone else, someone outside the connection, you know, someone that is either interested in you or your person could be stressing out over this. Because maybe they lost their person or they lost you. Here's a decision to be made, too. Two of Swords. This is deadlock, negotiations, caught in the middle of something. Or not being able to make, uh, make up your mind yet. There's blindfolds on. You don't see everything. Okay, let's see. What is coming in in the near future for you? So maybe the obstacle you have to overcome is someone has to, you know, someone is, is regretting and we have, you know, that that they let you go and you're going in deep within to find out your answers here but there is a partnership it might be that you have to trust it it might be if this is you with the nine of swords trust that the universe is sending you this partnership here okay let's see why wow that's what what is coming in their future we have the king of pentacles the empress oh my god you got all the money cards okay we had the Emperor here, too. Didn't we? Yeah, the Emperor came up before. And we have the Empress. Wow. Okay. So we have, might be a power couple coming together. Okay, so here, Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. It's beautiful reading. Okay, now, the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So it could be your, your energy or something that you're coming in t to meet here. That's coming together here. Ooh. We have the Rhino. Someone charging ahead. This, this, look at the cute little rhino. Let me show you. See? Look at the rhino. Ready to charge ahead. Okay. So this could be you or this could be someone coming to, towards you pretty quick and determined. So whether it's you moving ahead or someone coming towards you. Might be different for different people here. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. So also with the King of Pentacles, this is very influential. This is a head honcho. This is a business owner. Very good in finances. Um, knows how to handle money. Then we have the Empress. Can't get much better than this, Capricorn. This is saying, this is one of the most abundant cards in the whole deck. Money is here for you. You are coming into the moolah. Okay, so the Empress. This is um, fertile investments, feminine authority, prosperity, abundance, lucrative outcome. And you might have to make a decision about something you don't know what to do here. So you might be deadlocked, but, you know, don't rush anything. The place, no negotiations, and you're trying to figure out what to do here. Okay, you're undecided. Let's see, why is the King of Pentacles here? Ooh, the Death card. Ending, new beginning, a major transformation. So you, you might be just going through something huge. It's transforming you. It's changing something here. Um, so this is something you can't avoid. It's also blessings in disguise. A ending, new beginning, rebirth, transformation. Okay, so now what about the Empress? This is giving birth to something. It's, this could also be someone's pregnant. Or it's the fact that if you wanted to start a business now, it would take off. You are very fertile at this time. This is um, very creative energy. Start any kind of new business, new project. Okay, let's see. Woo! And you got the other card right under that one. I'm telling you, you're doing well here. This is you doing... It all by yourself, you know, being able to handle your own business. This is saying you can do that. This is nine of pentacles, self-reliant, fruits of your labor are paying off. What about this two of swords? Ah, the strength card again. Leo energy, but this is saying that you are able to handle whatever comes your way. You have the strength, you have the determination. You're a strong leader. Own your power, stretch your, stretch. Flex your skills. <laughs> there I go putting two words again, again. But someone might feel like they missed an opportunity with you. I don't think it's you because I think everything is going your way. Everything's coming up roses for you. I love it. But yeah, someone might feel like they missed out on an opportunity with you. Or maybe they could have offered you more. And the, and that this could be this too. You know, saying they could have offered you more and they didn't. They held back. They were the miser. They didn't want to give you more. So... 
someone might be trying to come back around, but you're like, I don't know. I don't think so. Yeah. Too little, too late. <laughs> okay, now. And we have the Nine of Cups, your wish fulfillment. This is a beautiful card. Jackpot, dream job, personal fulfillment. Everything coming your way. Only thing we don't have yet is the star, right? Where did it come out? We need the star. Come on, where's the star, guys? Okay, what, what or whom is helping you? Let's see. We have the, this is helping you. Maybe holding things to yourself. Not letting people know what you're up to. Don't tell anybody your business or your plans. Okay, and this is, oh, and there's going to be communication. This could be something coming towards you fast or you moving fast. This is good news, business travel, speedy um, communication. Oh, we have the Knight of Swords coming towards you. Okay, this is either your energy or someone coming towards you. Because this is whom or what is helping you. If it's your energy or someone coming towards you, this is someone that um, is in pursuit of goal, is driven, is ambitious. Failure is not an option with the Knight of um, Swords here. Let's see. We have here, oh, there's a transition here. We got a dragonfly going through some kind of major transition. Okay, bottom of the deck, someone might be sneaky. I think this is you just not letting people know what you're up to. I mean, you could have some kind of sneaky energy around, especially when you're doing so well. Sometimes people get jealous, but I almost feel like it's just your energy just holding back. The seven of swords can also represent shady dealings, criminal behavior, suspicious activity. Maybe that's why you're moving on. Okay, let's see. Why do we have... The Four of Pentacles. Ooh, we have the King of Cups. Wow. Okay. Scorpio Cancer Pisces energy. This could be someone's helping you too. And this is a B. So to me, the B is very industrious, very busy, a worker, someone that has strong work ethics. And also with the King of Cups, we have someone that might be a counselor or um, this is someone that you admire their actions or... This person also loves what they do. Now we have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. So you guys could be coming together here. King and Queen of Cups. Okay, let's see. And why do we have the Eight of Wands? Why is the Eight of Wands here? Here comes this again. Missed opportunity. So I might be trying to return again. Trying to come back in and offer you something here. Okay, what about this Knight of Swords? We have the Eight of Cups. You're walking away from something. Or someone could be walking away to come towards you. This is also, you know, you branching out. The Eight of Cups. This is um, moving onwards. Big, to bigger and better things. In a hurry. And leaving your burdens behind. This is, you know, this is someone that works too hard. Overloaded. You know, maybe have to delegate some of your responsibilities. Or, you know, I'm thinking this is the end of this. This is like you had enough of this. And, um, you know, it's exhausted. So now, what is the potential outcome for you? What is your potential outcome? Ooh, the hangman. Okay, you're going to gain a new perspective here. Um, you know, this is maybe a temporary holding for something. Something's not right yet. Hanging in the balance. Uh, being very protective of your assets here with the Nine of Wands. Um, you know, but you're persevering. And then we have the Eight. Yeah, someone's stuck in their head. Okay, why is this? You know, it's like, now we have the Eight of Swords. That is mental prison. Feeling restricted or feeling blocked at every turn. Well, it sort of fits with these cards a little bit. You can't move yet. So maybe there's a reason for it. But we do have the Magician coming up again. So you can manifest whatever you want here with the Magician. Law of Attraction. Materializing wealth. Desires within reach. Anything you want, you can achieve when the Magician shows up. Okay, now let's see. Why is the Hangman here? Why is the Hangman here for Capricorn? Ooh, we have the Knight of Pentacles. See, this is the slowest night. Slow, steady, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone could be coming in here. Let's see. We have that could be also your energy. We have here. Ah, we have the Elvet memory. Something from the past could be coming back in here. Let's see. Now, why do we have the Nine of Wands? Ooh, Page of Cups. 
this person from the past might be offering their cup. This, um, you know, there's, being that it's a career and finance, it could be trust your vibes, artist, artistic endeavors, a message of hope, but also it could be a message of love, communication here. Someone offering their love, offering their cup, and, um, I, maybe an apology. Okay, we, oh, look at this. I, I grabbed two. You see what I grabbed? Oh my gosh. Look what I grabbed. You believe that? There's two separate hearts. So I would say someone has a lot of love. Maybe their love is growing from you. They have a small heart and they get bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> okay, let's see. Page of Cups. Okay, so now, why do we have the Eight of Swords? What's up with the Eight of Swords? Ooh, we have the Lovers come up again. How many times did that card come up? I'm telling you, there's a deep connection here coming in here. We have the lovers being stuck. You know, maybe you have a choice between a couple people here. And that's why you're so stuck in your head here. You don't know what to do. That might be calling you anxiety. It might not be work so much as all these people. <laughs> and we have Jesse. Look at this. A judgment. Well, I think you have to make a decision. Okay. Bottom line. You're making great strides in your business and your career you're probably partnering up with someone here or something like that money is coming it's just coming in there's no way of stopping it it's just flowing like crazy but you also have people that are interested in you and in love so i think you're going to have a choice between a couple people here and that's why you're stressing out okay let's see what's with the king of cups let's do the scoop on the king of cups Op options <laughs> healing Intruder. Okay. Now that makes sense that you have options and it makes sense that there's intruder intruder here. Someone is probably trying to heal. Someone um, is helping you try to heal and there might be someone else trying to come in and it's like, oops. <laughs> okay, what about the Knight of Swords? It's funny that the very first one coming out is options. We have breakup. Player. TikTok. Okay, so someone's running out of time. Someone broke up with a player. Okay, what about the um, Queen of Cups? We have here Sex Realize Message. Ooh, so someone's sending you some kind of sexy message? So maybe someone sends you a message and then you realize what the message is aiming for. <laughs> Right? <laughs> it's a sex text. <laughs> what about this um, King of Wands? We have here committed, contact, excited. Okay, so someone is excited to contact you. They might want to be in a commitment with you. Okay, what about, or they're committed towards, towards you, to you, to you. <laughs> I am tired. I'm sorry. <laughs> what about this King of Pentacles? Vast. Eventually, past life. Okay, interesting. Okay, so someone might be coming towards you quickly here. And they might eventually figure out or think or that there's a past life connection here. It's kind of interesting. It's on the death card. That makes sense, doesn't it? Ending, new beginning, coming back around again. Okay, what about the Knight of Pentacles? We have love, finances, sharing. Okay, so someone loves you and they want to share in your finances or share your... You know, we did have a card. What, what was it that is... Um, it was something that... Yeah, it does... It is like the two of cups is like your your union of assets so that came up so that's i couldn't think of which card it was so let me get a, um, something on the finances it might it might work it might not Let's see if this could clarify it might make no sense and make us confused but oh so savings someone might be savings someone might have been saving money and they want to combine the assets okay what about the page of cups we have here money pleasure okay well <laughs> i don't know what do you want to do with that one guys <laughs> i 
I'm going to put a, a clarifier on the money and then I'm leaving it alone. You can do what you want. <laughs> we have, ooh, someone's giving someone a fistful of money. Okay. So, give them some money for, maybe someone's giving you money. Say, hey, just enjoy yourself. Buy yourself something nice. Have some fun. Go out. Right? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's do this. Okay, now, let's see here. What are the signs that you can be dealing with? What are the signs? Let's see. Now, this could be placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. We have Cancer, Aries, Cancer, Virgo, Pisces, and Pisces. Okay. So this could be placement, your chart, placement, other people's charts, past, present, and future. We have Cancer, Aries, Cancer, Virgo, Pisces, Pisces. Now we'll do 11 letters for initials, first name, last name. If you get both someone's initial for the first and last name, and they have a middle name, and you know that middle name, and you get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, future. So we'll see your own initials. We have N, R, S, Q, U, N, W, Z, Q, I, S. Okay, so letters we have for you today are N, R, S, Q, U, N, W, Z, Q, I, S. Okay, now, oops, let's do... We'll do the names 11 or more names let's see what names want to come up for you guys what are the names might have enough here okay so we have Uger U-G-U-R Dustin Grant Anadita A-N-N-I-N-D-I-T-A Elistio E L E S I T O Melanie Et Etnine I'm sorry I do not know how to pronounce this E T I E N N E Lamont Diane Janae J A N A I and we're just short one okay I need one more oops Let me get one more for you guys Okay, we have Teresa, T-E-R-E-S-A. Oh, yep, there we go. All right, guys, so remember, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I love to read your comments. If it does not resonate, check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign. That might resonate with you more at this time. All right, guys, I love you so much. I appreciate all your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and your comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.